What's going on, everybody? Thanks for checking out this video. Um, I haven't posted anything all of 2020. It's been a crazy year, as you all know. We've all been on the same planet, and um, it's been pretty crazy. So I just want to say Happy New Year. Um, it's the day after Christmas right now. It's December 26th, and it's like 40-something degrees outside in Sunshine State, Florida. So I got, my, uh, I got my ski jacket on, and I'm having fun out here. But right now, I'm in my BMW 325i 2005. And two days ago, Christmas Eve, I'm driving my car to a Christmas Eve uh, family gathering and I feel it rough idling. So I've experienced that problem before. I've experienced a lot of problems with my BMW. If you guys own BMWs, you've probably already experienced your own problems and issues. Um, these cars are quite frustrating. So you have to, um, you have to regularly maintain them. And if you don't, then they won't work. So, uh, with the help of my handy dandy fixed OBD2 little computer sensor, just plugs right into your computer and scans the code. I already know what the code is today because my card, like I said, has a rough idle. So I went ahead and bought an ignition coil. I went down to Advanced Auto Parts, got an ignition coil, paid 60 bucks for it. You can get them a lot cheaper online, but I need to get my car up and running today. So. I went and got one of these bad boys. Let's take it out of the package. I'll show you what it looks like. There are six different uh, ignition coils on your engine. So I ran the code and it said that it was a misfire on cylinder six. So to me, that means I need to replace an ignition coil. I've already had this issue before, so let's do it again. If you guys are feeling fancy, you should go ahead and place, replace all of them, get a, a nice set, maybe spend 150, 200 bucks on them, whatever it costs. But, um, or you can change them one at a time as they fail. Whatever you choose, that's your prerogative. Let's get to it. All right, so I went ahead and used my Fix OBD2 computer sensor. It plugs right into your computer. I'll show you where it plugs into. Right up underneath there. See that little thing hanging there? That's closed, you need to open it up, and then you plug your computer, plug it in, it either goes one way or the other way. There we go, she's plugged in. Once you got her plugged in, go ahead and start your vehicle, see uh, if you have any issues. You're gonna have to have your app open on your phone, run the diagnostic report, and it will give you a code. So when I ran the code on this, when it was running, I'll, sh I'll go ahead and start it up here in just a second. But it was a misfire in cylinder six and the code that came back was P0306. So I think I need to replace the ignition coil. But just so you guys know um, the issue and can hear it, I'm gonna start up the engine now and you can feel it. It's disgusting. If you guys can hear that or feel that, but ugh, ugh, we're gonna change out that ignition coil now.
Yeah, we're gonna find out. Hopefully, purrs like we're a kitten. Where this go? Where this go? Do a little tiny drive. Well, we don't even need to drive it. Just need to turn it on. All right. 